hi everyone you're welcome to celebrity zone channel don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification button for more updates asem pe nipao nipa nepe asem chali they say trouble no they look for person na person they look for trouble so today bongo ideas bongo nati bongo is in the news once again and this time round Charlie he is in a big trouble a big mess we all know bongo ideas to be somebody that says his opinion his view his point of view on twitter okay so people take this as if he's moving to them and also people people are saying that he's he's a cyber bully do you get it so he, he has moved to a lot of people in this country canada japan asamuajan and a whole lot of people but he got arrested yesterday around 2 a.m so if a relative a relative texted rooney everywhere i hope you guys know him rooney everywhere he is a blogger yeah someone texted him and i read good morning rooney please there is something i would like to discuss with you i'm a relative of bongo ideas he was arrested this dawn around 2 a.m by some men who claim to be police officials they refused to tell us the station they were coming from and stopped us from sitting in their car too we don't know we don't even know where they took him to the entire family have visited almost all the police stations close to us but he's not there i just pray this message finds you please this is my number so basically this relative was just trying to let rooney know what's going on the situation on ground so today on twitter charlie the network the networks to a messina telesel mtn charlie nothing they work now the marais bongo to hey matter so so people were saying that um this group of thoughts that were saying they knew a day will come like this people have warned him against certain things like this and he refused to listen he refused to heed to their advices some people were also supporting him saying yes it's everybody's opinion freedom of speech and he is allowed to express his feelings and his opinion unapologetically but as it stands now people are saying um he made a post about adodi and the first lady so maybe because of that that's the reason why he was arrested or kidnapped because as it stands now nobody knows his whereabouts and we are just hoping he's fine wherever he is the post he, he made was facts about adodi and rebecca's marriage rebecca was the wife of akufo ado's best friend in the uk when rebecca's husband passed on mysteriously akufo ado hurriedly married her the swift marriage raised suspicions as to whether they they were secretly dating all along or he just snatched a grieving widow before their marriage akufo ado had four daughters all four daughters had different mothers some dead others alive akufo ado adopted rebecca's child as a stepdaughter making his kids five after 26 years of marriage rebecca has no biological child for akufo ado the reason seems to be biological complicatedly incompatibility or age or both and it continues to say why would akufado marry rebecca if not for procreation info has it that he simply married her as a trophy wife because she is the daughter of former speaker of parliament and akufado had always wanted her for himself basically all four of akufado's daughters have different mothers he has a stepdaughter and that of and that the first lady has no child for him so this was his post and he went ahead to say uh the president 
uh, celebrated his wife with a mansion just watch this video So when he posted this video, he captioned it that after Akufado celebrating first wife by building a multi-million dollar edifice in her honor should tell you where his heart lies, meaning the heart of Ghanaians or in the heart of Akufado, Ghanaians are not in his heart, but rather his able wife, his beautiful first lady. So this was the post he made and people are saying say because of this post that's why he was arrested and some people are saying if he could say these facts these are facts that's what people are saying not my words they said these are facts so if he could say these facts and be arrested then meaning our freedom of speech doesn't work any longer and also some are saying um the first lady is not qualified to be called a mother if somebody can make a comment about you and the person will be arrested then meaning you are not um, able or you are not qualified to be called a mother so i'll read some comments from x some were making fun some were in support of him so i'll read some few comments and we we'll wrap up so this is from palago mufasa aka achi palago he said then for Joe Bongo ideas make him learn from his stupidness and cyberbullying. So this is from Achipalago. So and okay say pray for Bongo guys. Then another person, Kwame Oliver, says them say this be how them drag Bongo ideas the Ahomachi. Meaning this is how they drag him at dawn. Then Big Stormzy is saying still nobody knows of Bongo ideas whereabouts his accent. Then Dr. Bobby Lega said it's a known fact that Bongo Ideas was arrested because of the first lady. This is long overdue. What Bongo is doing is not freedom of speech but cyberbullying and spewing of lies, which is a criminal offense and must be sued. Kudos national security. So this person is supporting the national security for their work done and saying that. Um, Bongo ideas is a cyber bully, so they have to arrest him. Well, guys, that's all about Bongo ideas. But we pray he's fine wherever he is, and may God strengthen him. People are saying they pray he learns sense from this and other stuffs, but people will always be people. So let me know your views in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.